Women don't need to find a voice. They have a voice. They need to feel empowered to use it, and people need to be encouraged to listen. In the words of Meghan Markle. Hello and welcome to today's podcast of Women Empowerment. I'm Sama Benjawi from 11G, and I'm here to speak with you about a crucial topic that all of you ladies need to be aware of. What do you think women empowerment means? Women empowerment can be defined to promoting women's sense of self-worth, their ability to determine their own choices, and their right to influence social change for themselves and others. Now, of course, women empowerment aims to target several problems like sexism and gender inequality and fixed gender roles and stereotypes. What do you think comes with sexism and gender inequality? Women often have unequal access to opportunities. For example, there are some fields of study in colleges that only accept men. Up until recently, there were entire universities that only accepted men. For example, Yale University became co-ed only in 1969. They also suffer from unequal pay, gender-based violence, and there's also a lack of women in positions of power, which we need more of because they influence to serve as role models and they can change workplace policies to benefit both men and women. And there's also a lack of respect for caregiving. For example, women who have children or women who are stay-at-home moms tend to be overlooked as many people think that being a mother is not as hard of a job as being a doctor or a lawyer, for example. We all have noticed the abundant stereotypes that society has on women. For instance, women should only be housewives, women should be sensitive, delicate, and quiet, women are natural caregivers, men are natural leaders, you should smile more, women belong in the kitchen, and so much more. These are common stereotypes, behaviors, and expectations that have been tied to being a woman, which for the most part are absolutely absurd and untrue. This is not to take away from or criticize women who actually enjoy and value these traits. If a woman wants to work, she should feel free to do so. If a woman wants to be a housewife, then she should feel free to do so. As women, We should all stand together to solve these problems and raise awareness to the rest of the society through ways like by making women aware of their status in society, by boosting women's self-esteem, by granting equal education and career opportunities for both genders, by supporting women-run businesses, by combating all forms of misogyny, by using influential platforms to discuss women empowerment. I hope that by the end of this podcast, enough awareness has been raised on this topic and that we as FIA's high school girls stand together to pass through this awareness. Thank you for listening and I hope you have a wonderful day ahead.